What's going on guys, Coach Malik here. Today I wanna to go over a message that I got the other day <clears throat> that pretty much said they were getting unmotivated for working out. What's going on guys? Malik. Welcome to the Coach Malik Show. My name is Malik Benin and I am going to be your virtual coach. I'm gonna give you the knowledge, the tips, and the advice to help you perform better in all aspects of your life. What's going on guys, Coach Malik here. Today I wanna to go over a message that I got the other day <clears throat> that pretty much said they were getting unmotivated for working out. I get this all the time. You know, people will start working out and then they stop. They get unmotivated for a bunch of reasons. They had a bad meal, they had a bad day, they had a bad workout. One will lead into the other and it'll keep going. Um, but I wanna really quickly share with you what he said. Um, it was an Instagram DM, so if you guys are on Instagram, DM me. Um, but he pretty much was like, I'm going to read it for you guys. I texted him a lot. All right. Mm. All right, bro. Sheesh, bro. Um, I've been eating super bad lately, more consistently rather than good. And I'm starting to lose motivation and feeling down because I like my gains are fading. I feel like my gains are fading. So pretty much what he's saying is he just feels, you know, so he started off as a cheat meal, progressed into a daily thing. Again, not seeing my goals I want to hit. And then he's like, you know, might as well just eat bad, right? Um, and something that I always like see is like once someone starts to do bad or once someone starts to cheat, they want to continue to cheat. Um, same with if you're eating good. If you keep eating good, you're going to continue wanting to eat good. So that's why I always say I don't believe in cheat meals. I don't believe in cheat days. And the reason for that is because if you do one, you're going to start to build the habit and do it over and over again. So cheat meals and cheat days aren't for me. It's all about a lifestyle, all right? All about a lifestyle change. So pretty much what I told him, wait till the wind dies down here, if I cut this up a little bit. So pretty much what I told him was, it happens to all of us, right? We all get unmotivated. We all have that cheap meal or that, you know, fast food that we've always wanted for the last couple months. And that's okay. And the thing is, is to tell yourself that's okay. Um, the reason, wait for this wind to die down. This wind's killing me today. The reason it only gets very bad is if you continue to do it over and over. And so what I explained to him on this text, you see how long it is. It's a long one. Pretty much I was telling him that, you know, I, he's been training for less than a year, right? He had like a bad couple days or a bad week and he's gotten super down on himself. As of, you know, let's say you've been doing this for 12 years. Do you think a couple of days is gonna matter after 12 years of doing it? And that's what I told him. I was like, I've been doing this for 12 years. Like we all go through it, but it takes time to get over it. Um, you know, a first grader isn't smarter than a 12th grader. You know, someone who's played sports from, you know, seven years old to 13 years old is gonna be probably a little better in high school when he goes because he has that practice of the fundamentals. So don't get caught up in the day to day if you mess up a meal or if you mess up a workout. Focus on the week, focus on the month, and focus on the long term goal. You're gonna be doing this for the rest of your life. So you don't have to be getting down on just one day. This wind is really killing us. You know what I mean? So hopefully that helps some of you guys. I will make a better video on this. Um, but I just wanted to really quickly just jot it down because he just messaged me yesterday and I just wanted to get it out there for you guys. Because I know a lot of you guys feel down. I know a lot of you guys feel unmotivated to work out. It's not always a motivating thing if you're not in that routine. So um, just know that it's a long-term game. If you mess up today, make it up tomorrow. You could be literally, this is the thing that blows my mind. You can be back on track. Everyone always says like, how do I get back on track? How do I get back on track? You could be back on track with your next bite. Your next bite, you can start being back on track or your next workout. Like getting back on track isn't the hard thing, it's staying on track, which is the hard thing. So stay on track. If you get knocked off, just get back on as easy as your next bite or your next workout. Hopefully that helped you guys. If it did, put it down in the comments down below. Like this, share this, and I'll see you guys next video. Love you.